Dr. Daystrom is mentioned in a lot of Trek, but who is Dr. Daystrom? Hey Trekkies, Christian Fox here with another video for you. Today, I want to talk about the brilliant Dr. Daystrom and answer the question, who is Dr. Daystrom? Dr. Richard Daystrom, an Earth native, is one of the greatest minds in Star Trek. Daystrom was portrayed by William Marshall and appears in the TOS episode, The Ultimate Computer. At the age of 24, Daystrom made a breakthrough in duotronic circuitry, the very same circuitry that the Enterprise and other Starfleet ships used in the 23rd century before switching to the isolinear circuitry in the 24th century. This incredible breakthrough resulted in Daystrom winning a Nobel Prize and the Z Mangus Prize, as well as being given the nickname, The Boy Wonder. Although an amazing achievement, Daystrom struggled in later years with trying to outdo it and to prove his worth. Daystrom resented those that built on his work. In fact, it bothered him so much that he devoted his time to developing the M5 computer, as seen in the episode, The Ultimate Computer. The M5 computer was a highly advanced multitronic unit. Daystrom's hope was that it would one day be able to operate entire starships, eliminating the need for crews. In the episode, Daystrom comes aboard the Enterprise to test the M5 computer and its capabilities. At first, the unit was quite successful at running ship operations and even proving to be better than the human crew. The unit made course changes much faster and even selected better personnel for a landing party than Captain Kirk. However, things quickly got out of hand when the M5 destroyed an unarmed ship that wasn't a threat and started attacking some of the Enterprise's sister ships who were part of a military exercise. And this is all thanks to Daystrom's own personality engrams being incorporated into the unit. The unit thought they were attacking the Enterprise for reals and caused significant damage. When M5 ignored Daystrom and resisted efforts to be removed, Daystrom had a nervous breakdown and began believing that he and M5 were superior. Luckily, Spock was able to subdue Daystrom with this handy dandy nerve pinch. Kirk then did his thing and talked the computer into destroying itself by convincing M5 that it caused the deaths of 1,600 people. With the crisis averted, Daystrom was sent to a rehabilitation center. Despite this rather large failure, Dr. Richard Daystrom is still considered to be one of the greatest minds of all time, with the often mentioned Daystrom Institute being named in his honor. Daystrom appears in the original series episode The Ultimate Computer and is mentioned all throughout Trek. <laughs> 